On behalf of Expert Village, I'm Debbie Reeves at John's Design Center, and I'm here to tell you about custom picture framing. Now, the next thing we need to do is measure the picture to find out what size frame that we need to cut. Some people will tell you that you need to use a, a wooden ruler like this to measure your picture, but I'm telling you, never use a wooden ruler like this to measure your picture. What you want to use is a tape measure, just like this. You can find them anywhere. And what you do, we're going to measure this oil painting right here. So is all you do is you bring it here. Okay, and I see that this picture is 20 inches by 24. So that tells me a 20 by 24 is a standard size. So as you saw before, we were able to find a standard size frame to fit this. But the next one we're going to measure is this watercolor right here. Now this watercolor needs to have a matting on it. So we have the matting here that we're going to use for this picture. But as you see, this is four inches. We might not quite want four inches, maybe we only want three inches. So let's decide we're going to use three inches on this. So what you do is you add three inches and three inches, and it comes to six. So you put your finger on the six, and you say my picture is going to be 27 inches by 22 inches. You never, ever measure, when you're using a mat, you never measure the image, okay? You do not ever want to know that because you'll end up cutting the mat and the frame all wrong. So first you determine what, what size margin that I want, and that size margin is going to be three inches. So remember, you add the two together, which makes six, and your picture is 22 inches by 27 inches, which gives you an equal three-inch margin all the way around this picture.